In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory.
All right, we're gonna hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. Then take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. You know what I mean? Oh, here's the guy I was telling you about. All right, listen, this guy, he ain't Italian, and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's Capo, Tony Cipriani. Hey, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant at St. Mark's. All right. Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? Okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washer women ain't been paying the detection money. And watch the car, Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? <laughs> engine running. This ain't a social call. It's a triad ambush! Get us out of here, kid! I think they can 
mess with me. The Triads. With me. Drop by later and we'll give them something to launder. Their own blood-stained clothes. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright, just the guy I need to talk to. Alright, there's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near Callahan Point. One of the Ferrellis thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood, alright? Joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Laszlo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, I mean it's kind of... Ice cream is milk based, as we all know, and I am black. What a ride she's gonna be, huh? All right, listen, get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get him to the bank before five o'clock, not a minute after.
bank on the main drag. In and out in no time. Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see, I once thought like you before my master took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and pork. Get to the bank on the main drag. Use the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. I mean, language of the body begins with raw, uncooked, organic vegetables. Just look at me. I could tear a phone book in half on my bare toes. In fact, that though, I could easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two inch thick composite wood back. pulp and has a mahogany veneer finish. It has three drawers and no Keep the engine running. We'll be in and out in no time. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, the desk in two half desks. And now I shall make it so. Dragon stand. All units on bank ready to call that Stop the Liberty Point again. Get us out of here! I think I hurt my hand in my... I think he's all bent the wrong way. Listen, bloody kid, the death gets still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, lad, the mockery will get you nowhere. I think I'm gonna hit you now. Oh, I bruise easily. Don't throw any tofu or bean curds at me. It'd be very funny, lad, though. It's easy to make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the feng shui in here. It's downright disgraceful. Yes, it makes you talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Lazlo. That last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you think him up from? The state of Eden? And that wacko you had going on about killer bees? What a moron. I mean, just read a newspaper. Killer bees. Uh, they pulled some artificial sweeteners and soda. <laughs> I'm going to send it to the screen. 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 I'm going